Chris. And I'm Paul. We're from BagBoard.com and we're bringing you another Bag and Board Bite. This time we're bringing you The Flash, number one, by Francis Manipal and Chris Bucoletto. Um, interesting little note about this, you actually have two artists doing this book, um, sharing writing duties and sharing art chores. Um, and I think what's most apparent from that is you get a very, very beautiful book. Um, everything's done very much in the story to tell it visually. Mm -hmm. um, which is very cool. Uh, bringing back something we like from the Frank Wildly uh, Batman and Robin run, actually incorporating the like uh, word not word balloons but the, the sound effects, sound effects into, into the panels and into the art, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, using color in an interesting way. Uh, Chris just showed you the panels where all the action was happening in the big color panels and letting the uh, non-action backgrounds be black, almost black and white, but that weird blue color. Unfortunately, Chris, I know you were kind of complaining about the use of color here. This has been my biggest complaint about the Flash book since Francis Manipal took over on art, is everything is so washed out looking. And Paul put it really good before we started. It looks like everything's color pencil. Yeah, color. it looks in color pencils, a lot of like almost chalky kind of look to it where things get smudged. In fact, it's so washed out that for the flashbacks, they actually had to just use sepia tone to let you know it's a flashback, uh, which does work, but maybe if things weren't as washed out, you could have, you know, done something different than just going sepia tone on uh, those panels. And th this, is, this is a flash book, and I've said this before when I talk about the flash on uh, the podcast. I want big, bold, and bright, and you don't get that from this coloring. Um, but what you are getting is kind of an interesting story. Um, you got Barry Allen, yeah. forensic scientist. It's a murder mystery. Mm -hmm. On the writing side of things, I am very surprised and very happy it turned out so well. Uh, when I heard that it was going to be two writers, fans, it's Manipal Pohl and uh, I've already... Chris Bucoletto. Thank oh, you. Oh, Brian Bucoletto, I'm sorry. I couldn't okay. pronounce that anyways, so thank you. Uh, we're going to be first time writing this book. I was afraid. Uh, just because sometimes writers uh, writing first for the first time, things get like a little too steep and they try to over explain things. But since they're both working on art duties, they know exactly what they're putting in the panels and they probably all break it down so they know what they have to have in the word balloon and what they have to show uh, and lean on art wise. And I think it's a really good balance. Uh, I think that's something I actually get really well from Flash artists because this is a very well told story. But then also Scott Collins from his work with Jeff Johns, a fantastic artist, but he's actually written a bunch of Flash books too and they've actually been very well done. The Rope's Revenge ones, yeah. correct? Yeah, and also he's done some of uh, the... He did the Solomon Grundy series. And yeah, yeah I, you know, this is a book. I don't know if we really get a full, you know, fleshed out Barry Allen, you know, as Barry Allen kind of take yet, but that's fine. Like, it's a, it feels like a flash book. At the very end, you're left with a big science fiction-y kind of like, what the? Uh, which you, I love, you know, for a flash is to be more scientific, you know, to have that kind of science fiction hook. I, I've enjoyed this one a lot more than I have the other flash stuff that was mm -hmm. coming up before the relaunch. Don't know if it's something I'm going to keep up on, but okay. it's definitely something I would gladly read. Yeah, um, definitely. I, you know, I'm always going to miss the Flash family. Just it's one of those unfortunate things, but it is definitely a Flash book worth reading. Well, as Paul is a Flash fan, I give this to you. Well, thank you, sir. Because I will keep on buying it. Look for my review of number two soon.